time to break down the AFC playoff picture. Let's start at the top, Mike. The Kansas City Chiefs, they control their own destiny for the number one seed hosting the Oakland Raiders. Do we see any scenario in which the Raiders could beat them? I mean, there's obviously a scenario. It probably involves Patrick Mahomes getting hurt is the scenario, <laughs> and maybe a few other guys on that offense getting hurt. But, yeah, I think the Chiefs pencil them in as the one seed. Big for them to get the one seed in the AFC. Nice playing at home, especially at Arrowhead with that home field advantage. Yeah, the Oakland did give them a good game a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. That was in Oakland, though, and Kansas City's been so tough at home. Um, the two other teams that have an opportunity for the number one seed, though, the Los Angeles Chargers, they're yep. either going to be one or five, essentially, mm -hmm. right here. Um, and then the, the New England Patriots. If the Chiefs lose and the Chargers win again at Denver, and they did lose at home against the Denver Broncos, yeah. but the Chargers, even with their loss last week to the Baltimore Ravens, they still have a shot at the AFC West crown and the number one seed. And then the New England Patriots, uh, they are rooting for both the Chiefs and the Chargers to lose, and then they've got a shot at the bye. Mm -hmm. More realistically, the Patriots are looking at the number two seed. If they beat the Jets, they'll sit there at number two. And the Texans are hoping that they lose because yes. the Texans still have a shot. That was a huge loss last week against Philadelphia. Yeah, AFC is so much more convoluted than NFC at this point in terms of what could happen. And like you mentioned, Texans had a huge loss last week. Chargers had a huge loss last week. Both of those teams could have basically grabbed their destiny by the horns with wins. Didn't do it. So Texans on the outside kind of looking in at the bye, needing some help. Jets beating the Patriots seems a little far-fetched. Texans probably most likely looking at the three seed. Watch out for Sam Donald. He's playing really, really, <laughs> really well. Is, though, yeah. The team that has controlled their destiny in the recent weeks, though, the Baltimore Ravens, yes. currently sitting as the AFC North leaders. If they win, they win the division. I don't know if people were expecting that, but the Pittsburgh Steelers have had some tough losses over the last few weeks. They did manage to be finally beat New England, but another tough loss against the New Orleans Saints. If the Ravens win, they are in. The Steelers are rooting for a Ravens loss. And then if the Steelers win at home against Cincinnati, they will take the AFC North. Yeah, Ravens, though, no cakewalk here. You got the, the Cleveland Browns, excuse me, with Baker Mayfield with Baker. playing about as good as any quarterback in the NFL right now, the way he's been over the past handful of weeks. This, is, this one is not going to be easy. I think this one's going to be a close game. Browns already beat the Ravens earlier this season, so I, I don't see – if you're the Ravens, you can't look take this game lightly. I think you're going to have to – the game plan that they've been you know, executing the past handful of weeks, run heavy, defense heavy, has been working. I don't see any reason to abandon anything at this point. I think they're a team that no one really wants to face in the AFC playoffs. They just got to get over this week. Truly a playoff caliber game here for the yeah. Ravens. I mean, they're, they're talking about a Browns team that has been excellent over the second half of the season. Uh, we mentioned the Chargers, again, either the number one or the five seed at Denver. Denver, no cakewalk mm -hmm. uh, when you have to travel there. And then the number six seed is up for grabs on Sunday Night Football, the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. It sounds like Marcus Mariota might not be playing. So instead of Andrew Luck, Marcus Mariota, Andrew Luck, and Blaine Gabbert, I think that immediately puts you know, Indianapolis in the driver's seat there. Yeah, Colts, I think, were the better team to begin with, the more complete team to begin with. And then if you don't have Marcus Mariota, you really just, I don't see them having much of a chance. You're going to have to go run heavy, and the Colts have been very good at shutting down run games this season. The only thing, though, about this game, can't tie. They tie, and the Steelers win. They're both out. So one of them's going to get in the sixth seed. One of them just has to win, though. Pittsburgh, if they win, they'll be rooting for the tie here yeah. if the Ravens end <laughs> up winning. Um, I will say, though, the Titans' defense has done a pretty nice job in mm -hmm. a year of not so great defenses. They've done a pretty nice job. I do want to see them against this Andrew Luck offense in the cold in Nashville yeah. on Sunday night. So it should be a good one. That's the AFC playoff picture. we got the full breakdown over at ProFootballFocus.com.